Imagine if every business problem in financial services could be solved with just a few sprays of the Altman Windex, just like Goss uh, Portocalo glue in my big fat Greek wedding was swearing by Windex for everything from rashes to rust uh, on furniture. This is the situation today in financial services. AI is often hyped as a universal a Windex, the miracle cure for all operational challenges, and more so for hyperscaler digitally native fintechs. Sprinkle some machine learning here and there in the chatbot, and voila, all the inefficiencies are going to evaporate. But as Klarna's real-world customer service journey reveals, the truth is far more nuanced. Debt collection is a, a perfect example to expose the limits of this just spray AI everywhere approach because it highlights the need for thoughtful and genuinely customer-centric deployment of generative AI, not just AI deployment for brutal operational efficiencies. So let's dive into why debt collection is a great example to understand the nuanced deployment of generative AI in fintech, the value it could unlock. And what I realized through my collaboration with a South African-based global BPO provider, Newton, which brought this to the forefront. Let's look at Klarna, a hyperscaler fintech serving over 90 million customers and a global pioneer of buy now, pay later. They are a great example of a business whose interest is in helping customers to manage their credit life cycle by offering them exceptional customer service so that they become repeat buy now, pay later customers forever and ever, if possible. So what does Klarna do? How does it deal with nudging customers to repay their debt? They have an approach which is very systematic. They send at least four what they call friendly reminders over seven days. They use multiple channels, in-app notifications, email tests. And after a four-month period, then they escalate to an external collection agency. Now, to put things in perspective, Klarna declared themselves early on as OpenAI's favorite guinea pig. They claimed that AI can replace all jobs. After they reduced their workforce by 20%, their CEO was also saying they are aiming to halve the workforce all this in what I call brutal operational efficiency. And really the question then becomes, are you really using as a business generative AI to serve clients better? Is it customer centricity? Is it a sound business decision to just reduce humans at the customer center by using AI? What I suggest is that Klarna and the likes deploy generative AI to refine the approach to customer service, these nudges to repay debt, and use generative AI to adapt your customer service approach to the whole credit life cycle. And let me explain. Generative AI could help Klarna find the best communication channel for each customer before escalating to the repayment agency. And even when handling over to the repayment agency, the external one, they, with the help of, of Klarna, potentially, they should also be using generative AI to extract intelligence that indicates which customers prefer to speak to a chatbot 
and which ones prefer to speak to a human. Some customers may feel more shame talking to a human. Others may feel insulted talking to a chatbot when they are in this vulnerable situation of being delinquent in their payments. Generative AI can become a tool to provide this type of intelligence and more personalized and empathetic customer touch point. A business like Klarna should not only be interested in collecting the money, and actually they've done a pretty good job according to their latest reportings, their credit losses amount to less than 1%. I think it's something like 0.46% of the gross merchandise value as of September 24. What I suggest for all fintechs that are involved in credit, they should be interested in how to rehabilitate customers, helping customers to get back into the credit life cycle and preserve long-term relationships. So with this kind of mindset, generative AI, could really help in these sensitive areas and help businesses build relationships with customers through this rehabilitation process, leading to long-term customer value. So in a nutshell, generative AI should be deployed for intelligent customer segmentation at scale. None of the 90 million so customers of Klarna are the same. AI can predict which individuals respond best to digital nudges, which need a human voice, which cases require a hybrid approach. And even more interestingly, it all depends on the context. A same customer might prefer a digital nudge for a late bill payment, but prefer talking to a human when delinquent in a credit installment. Overall, nuanced generative AI deployment for contextual customer segmentation is the way to go. That is the way to deploy generative AI and not a general Sam Altman Windex spraying deployment.